Hello there. Thank you for choosing the Visual Products Configurator. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up a new configuration for your configurable product. So I'm taking this demo here to explain. I already have it open on a new tab here to save time. So we'll just dive right into that. So what you want to do in your case is click on new configuration and then something like this opens up. Here's a preview because I already have things set up again to save time, but I'll just walk you through the entire process. So here you want to select the available skin, which is like the layout for the configurable product. By default, you are you have access to two major skins as the default skin and the modern skin which is available at zero cost the other skins come at a specific price so here pretty much majority of the options here are self-explanatory um, but I could walk you through some of them uh, for instance a components and behavior click just allows you choose whether or not to leave other customizable options other options for the customizable product open while one is being clicked here you can set the description here you can activate if you have add-ons included with your product if you'd like to use specific add-ons with specific configurations here's where to set all of that up like i said earlier majority of these options are quite self-explanatory so there you have it and here comes the part that is the most crucial in this whole tutorial and it is the part where you acknowledge the components which essentially is the customizable parts within the products so here i'm going to walk you through how it is done in real time uh, because here is the product that we are configuring over here. So as you can see clearly, we have model here, which is the name of a particular component. And we can have model over here. And the model option, you can see has a single choice, which means the customer can only select one option out of different options available within the model component. So here's how to set up all of the options in there here you can set the name of the particular component and here you can set the image which is going to be a transparent image of course that would correspond with the particular option you can set what item is default what should be selected as default here and you can set as many options you want as possible and you could ask add a specific amount of money to be charged additionally when a particular option is being selected. Here you go, the outcome here is that there are several available options as you can see plus zero dollars, which means these options don't cost you an extra fee or don't cost the customers an extra fee. And lastly, the other option, the other component used in this tutorial is the text component. In another tutorial, we're going to cover how to set up the text component here. It's just pretty straightforward and explanatory that you just you choose the particular. So there are pre pre created components. And you can just select which of the components you've created earlier by doing this over here and saving. Voila! There you have the text component, and everything just works smoothly, as you can see right over here. Thank you so much for going through this tutorial. Cheers.